Hi guys, welcome to Railways Explained. On this channel we have talked so far about many different railway topics, including the railway systems of different countries, mega railway projects, railway history and the development of different aspects of the railway system. However, we have an impression that we have not dedicated enough space to the rail rolling stock. As this topic is very interesting to all rail lovers and rail enthusiasts, it will be the main focus of our today's video. We will begin with the development of Shinkansen trains. The idea is to show their evolution through time, including the aspects of their appearance and their performance. An additional reason to begin with this topic is the fact that in one of the previous videos we have talked about the Japanese rail system, and this is an ideal opportunity to complete that story. Today there are many series of Shinkansen trains, and naturally each of them is sort of an upgrade upon the previous series. However, this evolutionary process has been complicated by certain changes caused by the privatization of the Japanese railways. Therefore, it is more practical to introduce the trains according to lines, rather than in order by which they appeared. Let's start. The first Shinkansen train with its familiar round nose is now known as the Zero Series. It became legendary already on 1st October 1964, which is the opening date of the first Shinkansen line. At 6 am, following a short ceremony, the first Zero Series Shinkansen left Tokyo towards Shinosaka. At the same time, another Zero Shinkansen left Shinosaka towards Tokyo. A bit later, the Zero Series was introduced on the Sanyo Shinkansen. The Zero Series trains were white with a blue stripe along with the windows, and another at the bottom of the car body, including the front pilot. The Zero Series had a top speed of 210 km per hour, and after 1986 they were able to reach 220 km per hour. The car body construction was made of steel, so the train was quite heavy. The series has been used for 45 years, from October 1946 to December 2008. In 1985, the 100 Series was introduced. Although it was introduced after the 200 series, its numbering is such because in the days of the Japanese National Railways, Shinkansen trains running east of Tokyo were given even numbers, and those running west odd numbers, hence they were given the next odd number after zero, which is 100. The difference between zero series and 100 series was largely cosmetic, with the 100 series having a sharper, more concord and less jumbo-like appearance. The top speed was 220 km per hour, while individual sets, branded as V sets, could reach speeds of 230 km per hour. 100 series was in service for 27 years, from October 1985 to March 2012. In 1992, JR Central introduced the 300 series. This train not only looked significantly different, but it was also a huge technological step forward, which was achieved with AC motors and use of lighter materials, most often aluminium. Although it had few technological problems at first, its introduction meant the improval of operating speeds to 270 km per hour. This series was later also adopted by JR West. The front-end styling of these units consisted of a curved wedge, replacing the aircraft-style nose cones of previous Shinkansen trains. They were painted brilliant white, with a medium-thick blue stripe beneath the windows. This series has been used for 20 years, from March 1992 to March 2012. Masterminded by German industrial designer Alexander Neumeister, JR West had also been doing their research, and in 1997 introduced the 500 series, the fastest train in the world at the time, with a top speed of 320 km per hour. Anyway, it operated at speeds of no more than 300 km per hour. Although initially used only on the Sanyo Shinkansen, it was later used on the Tokaido Shinkansen. This series is still in use for the last 24 years. In October 2015, the special 500 series Shinkansen, dubbed the 500 Type EVA, was unveiled. The train's design, inspired by the popular animation series Evangelion, at first glance resembles a purple serpent. In 2015, on the 40th anniversary of the Sanyo Shinkansen, the Evangelion-inspired 500 series operated Shinosaka to Hakata Station. 
Also, two 500 series were revamped and fitted with a Hello Kitty design and put into service in June 2018. In addition, there have been several similar initiatives, but we think for now these two are enough to mention. In 1999, JR Central introduced its 700 series. Although it has a lower top speed than the 500 series, it is significantly cheaper while having many improvements compared to the 300 series. The most notable development was in the area of noise pollution and aerodynamics. The 700 series is characterized by its flat, duckbill nose, designed to reduce the piston effect as the train enters tunnels. The cost of a 16-car 700 series is approximately 4 billion yen, compared with around 5 billion yen for a 16-car 500 series. These trains have been in service for 22 years. Two Class 923 Dr. Yellow, based on the 700 series, are used for track and overhead wire diagnostics on the Tokaido and San Yoshinkansen. Dr. Yellow is the nickname for a high-speed test trains with special equipment on board to monitor the condition of the track and overhead wire, including special instrumented bogies and observation blisters. The next Shinkansen series was introduced after 8 years in 2007, when the N700 came into service. N700 have a maximum speed of 300 km per hour and the possibility of tilting up to 1 degree, which allows trains to maintain 270 km per hour even on curves with a 2500 meters radius, which previously allowed a maximum speed of only 255 km per hour. Another feature of the N700 is that it accelerates more quickly than the older 700 with a maximum acceleration rate of 2.6 km per hour per second. It enables a train to reach 270 km per hour in only 100 seconds. Further advancements led to the development of the N700A, incremental evolution of the N700. N700A can reach 285 km per hour on 3000 m curves, allowing the maximum operating speed on the Tokaido Shinkansen to be raised to 285 km per hour. On the Sanyo Shinkansen, these trains operate at the maximum speeds of 300 km per hour. A new train, the N700S, where S stands for Supreme, entered into service in 2020 with a plan to eventually replace all the trains from N700 series. The new train incorporates several new features. Refinements to the automatic train control and braking system will enable shorter braking distances in emergencies such as earthquakes. Further optimization allows batteries to be installed so the trains can operate in an event of a disruption of overhead power. High-speed trials at a design speed of 360 km per hour were conducted during 2019 on the Tokaido Shinkansen, reaching 362 km per hour. This is 28 km per hour faster than the fastest speed ever achieved by the N700A and may indicate plans to raise the maximum operating speed of the line. 216 trains of this series were introduced and all of them are now in operation. This series is also planned for the Texas Central Railroad, which is an interesting high-speed rail project in the United States that was the topic of our previous video. If you wonder how the development of new trains and their constant improvements have affected the Shinkansen train service, check out this image. The initial travel time between Tokyo and Shinosaka was 3 hours and 10 minutes in the period from 1964 to 1984. By improving the train sets and increasing their speeds, this already incredible travel time has been shortened by an incredible 50 minutes. On the Tohoku and Joetsu Shinkansen, the first Shinkansen to be introduced was the 200 series. It looked much like the Zero series, but had various alterations to help combat the weather problems such as the snow, and were lighter and more powerful since these two lines are mountain routes with steeper gradients. They are also prone to snowfalls, so the trains had to be fitted with snow plows and other snow protecting equipment. They were originally painted in ivory with a green window band and lower body side band, but several sets were refurbished and painted into a white upper dark blue lower scheme with a new wraparound cap windows from 1999. 
The first units were capable of 210 km per hour, but later ones can do 240 while four of them were converted to be capable of 275 km per hour. With the development of the Mini Yamagata Shinkansen, it was needed to develop a train that can travel on both the main Shinkansen and the Mini Shinkansen with its smaller loading gauge. The result was the 400 series which was in service from June 1982 to April 2013. After this series, JR East changed the numbering system and started using the prefix E as for the East. The first of these trains were the E1 series in 1994. Its most notable feature is that it is completely double-decker, reflecting the change in the type of passengers that were using the JR East Shinkansen. Namely, the idea was to relieve overcrowded services used by commuters on the Tohoku Shinkansen and Joetsu Shinkansen. This series was capable to reach 240 km per hour and was in service from July 1994 to September 2012. And in 1997, JR East introduced the E2 series. Although externally different, especially from the front, they had much in common with the 700 series and have become JR East's main train as the company replaced its aging 200 series. The main feature of the E2 series is electric active suspension, which controls the horizontal movement of railway cars. An onboard computer detects car body movement from a sensor attached to the car body, making an actuator generate power in the reverse direction, and controlling the car body by offsetting out the movement. E2 is still in service and operates at speeds of 275 km per hour on Tohoku Shinkansen and 260 km per hour on Hokuriku Shinkansen. The E3 series was introduced in June 1997, coinciding with the opening of the new Akita Mini Shinkansen. The E3 replaced the previous 400 series and for that reason, these trains were built to a smaller loading gauge than mainline Shinkansen trains. The width and length of each car are reduced to fit the narrower clearances of the Mini Shinkansen. These trains operate at the speeds of 275 km per hour on Tohoku Shinkansen and 130 km per hour on Mini Shinkansen lines. The E4 series was designed like double-decker like E1 for the accommodation of additional commuter traffic around Tokyo and other urban areas. These trains were introduced in 1997 and are still in operation. As with earlier E1 series, the maximum speed is 240 km per hour. The 8 car sets can be coupled together to form a 16 car train with a total capacity of 1634 seated passengers. The E5 series is in operation on Tohoku Shinkansen since March 2011 and on Hokkaido Shinkansen since March 2016. The technology incorporated into these trains is derived from the experimental train FASTEC 360S tested by JR East. The initial maximum speed in service was 300 km per hour, but it was raised to 320 km per hour between Utsunomiya and Morioka from 2013. The A6 series was introduced in March 2013 as a model that can operate on Mini Shinkansen lines as well. The technology incorporated in these trains is derived from the Fastec 360Z train. The maximum speed is 320 km per hour. Finally, the E7 series is jointly developed and operated by JR East and JR West, and is in operation from March 2014. The W7 series has operated on the Hokuriku Shinkansen since it was extended from Nagano to Kanazawa in March 2015. These trains have a maximum design speed of 275 km per hour, however they operate at a maximum speed of 260 km per hour on the Hokuriku Shinkansen and are limited to 240 on the Joetsu Shinkansen. JR Kyushu introduced 800 series in 2004 on the Kyushu Shinkansen high-speed rail line. The 800 series has a maximum speed in service of 260 km per hour, although its maximum design speed is 285 km per hour. It abandoned the 700's duck bill nose in favor of a sharper one. Trains were painted brilliant white with a red stripe beneath the windows. 
From March 2011, the N700 trains also operate on Kyushu Shinkansen with a maximum speed of 300 km per hour. And that's basically it. We hope that we have not forgotten any major series of Shinkansen trains. If we did, tell us in the comment section. Before the end of the video, we would like to mention another experimental Shinkansen train operated by JR East. It is being used to test technology to be incorporated into future trains operating at speeds up to 360 km per hour. This train is branded as Alpha X, an acronym for Advanced Labs for Frontline Activity in Rail Experimentation. The experimental train set is being tested at speeds up to 400 km per hour to evaluate new technologies to be incorporated into new trains. These technologies include dampers to reduce vibration and the likelihood of derailment in major earthquakes. It also tests body designs that reduce snow adherence. The train reached speed of 382 km per hour in October 2020 on the segment between Sendai and Morioka. Also, we want to mention the world's fastest art gallery, the Genbi Shinkansen. This is a bullet train decked out with specially created artworks by Japanese artists. With fantastic and colorful designs on both its exterior and interior, the impressive Genbi Shinkansen is bound to delight riders both young and old. This was a story about the development of Shinkansen trains on Railways Explained. We hope you enjoyed and learned something new about the railways of the world. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your real loving friends, and of course subscribe to our channel and to help our production consider becoming our Patreon. Until the next time, goodbye.